Yo! Ladies and freaking gentlemen, today is the day. Miller. What? Come to your job. Today is the day that we finally take out the Polaris. The Polaris hot. The Polaris hot. The Polaris. Miller, what is it you guys say it for me? Polaris hot Polaris high li lifter. We're taking that out today, boys. Come on, follow me. Keep all the trash outside. Really? By the way, hurricane. Hurricane season, yes sir. Yes, <laughs> Oh my god. So this is a Polaris high <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go with the new name. Title, Polaris high <laughs> She's all clean, she's all fresh, she's got the fresh dip, she is now running. Let's see if it starts. Ready for this cold start? Yeah, cold start action. It started. Yeah, that's, that's good. Oh God, I thought that was <laughs> What a piece. <laughs> you know, I actually rode a Sportsman 850 at Busco yesterday. It was not that bad. It had power steering. And apparently he said it had a he said it had a, what kind of noise is this <laughs> He said it had an electric throttle and power steering, and it wasn't that bad. I actually was like, you know what? I could ride this and enjoy it. They told me it was 14K just for a stock sportsman with power steering and stuff. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Wait, what are we doing again? What's the purpose of this video? Oh. <laughs> Where are you going? You boys know what that is? That's a RJWC exhaust for this pile of junk. We have shifters and stuff. Miller? Yeah. I don't know where they went. You lost them, Eddie. RJWC hooked everything up. Exhaust, shifter, gas cap, all kinds of stuff, but I lost the other box. So, while we look for that, while I look for the shifters and parts and stuff for the RJWC build on this bad boy, in the meantime, we're gonna run this thing stock, get a feel for it. I mean, it's got some risers, yeah, it's got no brake pads, um, <laughs> your normal Polaris stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna run it stock, we're gonna take it to the swamp. There's a hurricane upon us, boys. It might not look like it right now. Hey, has it hit yet? Was it hit? Did it hit last night or did it? It hit yesterday, I think. It hit yesterday? This is just the after. The swamp is gonna be Oh full. my god, I didn't even think about that. Yep. Hope this thing sinks in the first two seconds. So oh. I don't have to ride it anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Brayden, I like your shirt, dude. Oh, everybody, get your BP merch. First link in the description, BraydenPrice.com. I was at Busco this weekend. That video is going up next. But there was people there wearing BP merch. Hold oh. on, hold on. Dude, I made a TikTok. You made a TikTok? I made a TikTok. At the real Braden Price. Just saying, if you guys haven't seen me on there already, I don't post a whole lot. You know, Instagram, Snapchat, Braden underscore Price. So, this dude comes walking up. Yes! Check it out, dude! And then, it'll buff pop socket, because we gave out free it'll buff pop sockets to the first, like, 250 orders of yeah. the turd muffin So drop. he's an OG. He's yeah, an OG. He's he a merch OG. He, he's a merch OG. And also, shout out to Willie. He had a brain price phone case. Miller, where the f*** is my phone case, dude? <laughs> Oh, no. Hold on. He had one of these. These are the best freaking phone cases because you know what? They say Brain Price Mud Co. Yes, sir. Got the little mud splatter. If you boys want one, pick them up on the site. Uh, the reason why... Okay, they don't stop your phone from breaking when they fall off a truck at 60 miles per hour. Just a little FYI. I was testing the new phone case out and... At 60 miles per hour, it did it. it, it that's the limit, boys. 50, that's the, 59. That's good. the limit. Let's go ride, boy. Let's go ride. Oh my gosh. All right. Hop on this pile of crackers. Start my tractor up. Find reverse because the shifter makes no sense. I don't know. I don't like this shifter at all. It's not smooth. And on top of that, it's just like, I don't, it's, I don't, I don't like it. It makes it too complicated to find a gear. Like, let's go into low. That's high. Nope, not low. That's low. There we go. Now reverse. That's park. There's reverse. All right. Not the best design in my eyes, but some people like that just straight up and down. It is nice slapping in the high, but that's about all it's good for. But high ain't worth much, boys. High's not worth much. We'll see. Um, headlights, do they work? I don't know. First time actually ripping this thing. No clue how it's going to perform. I hope good. I hope decent. I hope it impresses me, but I really don't think so. I had, I've had a couple guys that are looking at these high lifters and I'm like, yeah, dude, come over, ride Outlander and then ride the high lifter and tell me what you think. And it's changed their mind 100%. Like now they're like wanting a Can-Am. So we'll see if this thing will change my mind. I highly doubt it. But they just need power steering, dude. They need power steering bad. And an electric throttle because this throttle is just not smooth. Dude, I'm getting rained on. Like I feel like I'm trying to steer a bull. And I could do this with the Outlander just with two fingers like that. And I can't even move, hardly move it. <laughs> 
And then everybody's gonna hit me. Ah, you're just a, you're just a pussy. La 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 la. Look, I've been riding fully for a long time, and the Honda 420 steers so much easier than this. This is stupid. This would get tiring after all day. All oh, the swamps packed. Is that a duck in the swamp? I was about to say, go get the shotgun. I'll jump shoot a coot. Wow, the swamp is packed. I haven't seen this. The hurricane must have dropped a lot of rain because it is. It's pretty deep. Here comes old Miller and the Defender. Hey, what is this thing making sounds? That Defender is badass. Since it's raining, I guess Miller's just gonna sit in the Defender. Why is the windshield thing broken? I might have like parked in between two side by sides and couldn't open the door and climbed out of the windshield and kicked it off with my foot when I fell out. But yeah, the swamp is full. Let's get after it, dude. How do you put this thing forward? All right, we in two wheel drive. Who knows if this thing's gonna be snorkeled or not. We're about to find out. I don't even know if these things will idle underwater. I hope the snorkels work. Kind of floaty. I mean, it's kind of fun. It does the job. Which I know my buddies, when they bought theirs, like these, they bought them for 8K new. And honestly, that's not too bad considering if you build a Rubicon, you're looking at like 10K after wheels and tires. Uh-oh, it bogged out. I did not like the way it bogged. Uh-oh. Are you serious? Come on. It's, it's We're actually in high. It's turning them decent, but it is two-wheel drive. All right, I'm just saying the Outlander can do this, but it is a lot worse than the water stuff. Definitely throw it in the low for this, this little rip right here. There we go. I'm a little sketched out right here. This thing feels very flipple, flip, flipple, flip, flipper. A oh, golly, race reverse. Why is it bogging out, dude? Hope we're not taking on water. Let's see if the four wheel drive works. That's a good sign. We're just gonna we're gonna take it easy on this thing. I'm not gonna lie. We are gonna take it easy on the high lifter for the first first ride. But after this, it's full throttle. I'm just trying to see what she's got, see what she'll do. But afterwards, it's just we hammering down, son. Like y'all think I full send the Can Am? I don't even know if I could send the Can Am any harder than I do. But this thing is. I mean, it's gonna get it. baby oh golly it feels very flippy dude feels flipper feels flipper <laughs> oh i got wet what was that i thought a raccoon just fell out of the tree where's reverse dude this thing ain't that bad oh shit <laughs> All right, we're gonna hit this full throttle. Since the water's up, it should do it. Oh yeah, and Colt pushed that tree out of the way. Yeah, this thing should do that. Oh, we smoking belt. We smoked belt. That's nice. Let's see if we can crawl out of this before we get buried. I do not want to bury this thing right now. That's for the future videos, not this one, baby. Yeah, we definitely smoked the belt. I could smell it. The belt's still smoking? Doesn't want to turn them for some reason right now. I thought this thing was doing pretty decent. And that was in low, boys. I don't want to anybody think it wasn't. When I went through there, anyway. Yes, sir. It's not too bad in water because that power steering ain't too awfully bad. This thing does not sound healthy. Reverse, where are you? Ah! Brake suck. Um, so yeah, when I went through right there, I smoked the belt. Were you high or low? Low. I mean, it made it through, but the water's up and that, and Colt ran over the log that we always get hung up on. So it sunk down in the mud, so it's easier, but it smoked the belt. Not too bad though, but it was enough to smell it. The shifter sucks. Trying to find, I mean, I guess I could get used to that. 
Hopefully, I don't know. Maybe if that RJWC could actually help that. Doing all right in water because the power steering isn't that important. Should we go over to Garrett's pond and wash it off? All right, well, let's hit the swamp a couple more times and then we're gonna go over to Garrett's pond. Let's sink it. Yes, sir, let's go. We're gonna sink it. I kind of forgot how to turn it on for a second. This thing feels so unstable. I, th I really do think these tires are extremely floaty and I kind of like it. I kind of don't. One thing about the Polaris is everyone talks about the Can-Ams feeling huge, but these 850s feel so heavy. They don't feel too heavy down in the water, but they feel really heavy driving them because they don't have that power steering, dude. They feel fat. Wow. Another complaint I have about Polaris owners, when I, when I was looking at getting a Polaris, this, this exact one, all my buddies were telling me, well, parts are so much cheaper than Can-Am. You can find parts easier. And that to me has not been the case. As soon as I bought this, I had to buy parts for it and it took forever and it was a pain in the ass. But with the Can-Am, Jamie usually has all the parts in stock for it. And now everyone's gonna say, oh, because they're broke all the time. Well, to give you a little idea, all the rear discs for the high lifters were out of stock for like the next month when I bought this thing because so many people were buying them up. It kind of gets after it in the water though. I'm not gonna lie. It likes to wheel easy. I think it's because those big tires on the front like floating it. It's doing pretty good in terms of not getting stuck. Oh gosh, hello tree. That scared me. All right, Miller, are we getting some pictures for the gram or what? Well, these tires suck in reverse. Holy crap. They're so directional. You know what? F it. Let's just sink it. Ah, bye bye. So I'm saying it's so flipper. It's flipper, dude. It's flipper. We put a lot of SC1 on this thing. It's still clean. You wanna go over to the pond? Yo, what if we run out of gas? Oh, it says it's full. It's probably not right. Move, clown butt. I do like your car. Can I get one? I really need to get my windshield wiper button fixed, dude. How are you supposed to see anything when it's raining? Miller, hit that tree, I dare you. See if I can get this thing to wheelie. Yeah, okay, never mind. Oh, listen to the brakes. They sound wonderful. Oh, is that the exhaust smoking? What was that? I think we just burned some, we're burning belt, dude. What the f Is this a new belt? We in two will drive high. What are you doing, cuz? That's it smell like belt. You cannot tell me I gotta put a new belt on this thing. That is ridiculous. It needs brake pads, belt, it needs a diff. It just keeps adding up. My brakes are garbage. Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. This hurricane weather sucks. Can't even keep my eyes open right now, dude. Dude, I can't see anything. Holy crap. Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. Da, 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 da. Hey, you want me to sink it? Okay, I'll go do that now. Probably just jinx the hell out of myself. What in the head? Those look like, like testicles? What are those? It's floaty. Wait, are my vent lines? Yeah, I can't go much deeper. All right, yep, I think that's it because we got to run those vent lines. Oh, no, we sinking. <laughs> the vent lines are going to go under and I don't want to wheelie this thing all the way across because it's so floaty. I feel like I might lose it and we got to keep it. We got to keep this thing alive for at least a month. That is my goal. I got to keep it alive for at least a month, okay? Oh, gosh. Great Ed? Yes? Great Ed? Are my waders about to go under? Cause it sure feels like it. Oh, what's that bubbling? Nope. The belt. The belt's just smoking up, dude. Does not like this stuff. We in two wheel drive too, cuz. Maybe the Polaris is why everyone hates on the big CC four wheelers. Talking about, I don't wanna be blowing belts all the time. Cause this is getting ridiculous. It really is. Oh, <laughs> nice. We, we smoking belt, boys. We smoking belt. Nice waterproofness, Polaris. Really nice. Yeah, we smoking belt. Yep, the belt's done. We got water in the belt box. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's no belt box right here, so you have to take off the rear wheel just to, you know, change a belt. Nice one, Polaris. Well, that was fun, so we got water in the belt. And what I'm guessing is happening is it's not leaking up here. I think it's the factory seals on the freaking belt box, the belt box housing itself. That's what I think it is. I don't think it's this. The stock snorkels ran to right here anyway. We never even went that deep. 
Ooh. Nice, gotta love it. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Didn't even mean to break it. I was taking it easy today. Now uh, it probably needs a new belt because it smoked up so bad. We'll see. We'll drain that belt box and uh, find out for ourselves if it needs a new one or not. Rain, rain, go away, come back another day. At least it's really clean now. You want to know my opinion on it? Did not win me over, but it was not as bad as I thought. And then it smoked the belt. Lovely, right? Just, just got love it. The old Outlander over here. Never once have I smoked a belt from water. I've smoked it because I was in high doing burnouts and mud. thick mud, yeah. head to head running into Kyle. Um, that's my own damn fault. But it's never got water in the belt box. And as it, if it has, it, I think it, it might have had water. It's had water in the air box because I've took all the snorkels under. But it's never, it's never slipped. I've never yeah. had a slipping problem. Yeah. This time I'm gonna slip a lot and smoked it. Do the pondering stance. All right, Jamie. I don't know if Jamie could sell this one. I don't hate it as much as I did but compared to the outlander telling you right now if you were thinking of getting a polaris high lifter 850 some of the other models are a little different i do gotta say that they have power steering you know blah 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 the one i read this past this past weekend it was pretty nice i liked it uh i need that i don't remember anything about it one of the things i really hate is look at this belt box look where it's at oh is that it right up in the air? yes oh my gosh why if you smoke a belt break a belt on the trail you're done yeah. The Outlander, we can switch it over in four minutes. Put a new belt on it. I don't know. I'll tell you right now, if you were to ride a High Lifter 850, this exact bike with no power steering, no bumpers, no winch, High Lifter 850, and then rode just the XMR 850 Can-Am, you would be amazed and it would win you over. But as of the other four-wheelers, like the Sportsmans that come with power steering, this, that, and the other, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that, Miller. I also wanna ride the High Lifter 1000 because that one's got power steering. I wanna see if it makes up Ooh, for yeah. everything else. But, oh, poor Polaris. <laughs> they hate me, dude. They really they do. They hate me. Can am, dude. When's that sponsorship coming? Guys, if you enjoyed or liked or were entertained by this video, if you've made it to this point in the video, go down there, hit the thumbs up button. If you guys also have not already, go check out the website. We got some fire merch on there. We got a merch drop coming that's gonna be lit, but we got a couple shirts left of the turd muffin, so if you want one, it is your last chance to go pick some up. You gotta go get some turd muffin merch. So guys, please like, subscribe. We are almost to 1 million subscribers. The second channel links in the description. It just hit 100k last night So if you guys want to go subscribe to the second channel We're gonna start posting more stuff on there If you guys want to subscribe to the main channel if you're not already Let's get to that 1 mil mark tell your friends brain price 1 million We are taking the mudding industry into next level. We'll bring the Polaris along with it So if you're a Polaris owner hit that thumbs up button guys like subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next video Which is gonna be